Hello everyone, welcome to this next video on complex analysis. In this video, we shall see question from 2003 and this question is also from bilinear transformation. Uh, by now, you must have uh, learnt this formula to calculate what is a binomial transformation. So here, uh, in this question, we are given the point 0, 1 and infinity, they are in the z plane map correspondingly to the point minus iota infinity and 1 in the w plane. So they are asking what is this transformation f. So for that we will use this formula. So uh, notice here that for the term w2 we have infinity and for z3 we have infinity. So we have to solve this by taking its limit. So uh, in the initial step, uh, we will not substitute these values. So, we will keep them as such. So, it would be z minus 0. z2 is 1 minus z3 as such. And, uh, right? Yes. So, and z1 is 0. z2 is 1. And z3 as such minus z. And here, on the right hand side, we won't substitute for uh, w2 w1 is minus iota so this is this thing w2 as such w3 minus uh, the value is 1 w1's value is minus iota minus w2 and then we have w3 1 minus w so now from the, these two terms we can take z3 common so here we would have z multiplied by z3 multiplied by uh, 1 by z3 minus 1 and here we have minus 1 and we can take z3 common so it would be 1 minus z upon z3 so this z3 and this z3 cancels on the right hand side we have w plus iota and again we can take w2 common so it would be 1 minus 1 upon w2 then divided by w2 common so it would be or we can take minus w2 common so it would be iota divided by w2 plus 1 right and 1 minus w as such so from here w2 and w2 cancels so now uh, we can uh, substitute or uh, the values of z3 and w2 as they goes to infinity that means 1 upon z3 would go to 0 and 1 upon w2 that will also go to 0 so we are only left with z into 0 minus 1 and then we have minus 1 multiplied by 1 minus 0 and on the right hand side it would be w plus iota and then we have 1 minus 0 and then we have minus 1 and then 0 plus 1 1 minus w so we can simplify this it would be so this minus 1 cancels with this one so it on the left hand side we only have z on the right hand side we have from here w plus iota and from here we can multiply this minus 1 inside of this bracket so we would have w minus 1 so from here we are to extract the value of w and we are done so for that what we are doing we can uh, simplify this a bit so this thing divided by 1 so we can write by applying componendo and dividendo in that we just add the numerator and denominator and put it in place of numerator and then we divide numerator with denominator and put it in place of denominator so similarly we do the same with the right hand side so we would have something like this so we can solve this so from the new denominator this w term cancels so we are left with iota plus 1 and here we are left with 2w plus iota minus 1 and so basically this has uh, made more of a less uh, more of a mess so what we can do instead is we just have to simplify this right 
So for that, you can simply multiply by this term. So what we can do here is instead we can multiply this uh, term w minus 1 on the left hand side. So we will be having something like this. So we can collect now the terms corresponding to w. So we would have w into z minus 1 and then on the right hand side we would have iota plus z. So w would simply be z plus iota divided by z minus 1. So this is our final answer. So let us look at our options. So from here z plus iota divided by z minus 1 is the correct option. So uh, here option number C is the correct option. So I hope you understood this bilinear transformations well by now. So that is it for this video. I will see you in the next one.